technology is advancing faster and taking less time to be adopted than ever before. As in, it took roughly around 10,000 years to get from writing to printing press, but only about 500 more to get to email. Now we are at the dawn of new age, the age of AI. AI is uh, usually defined as teaching the machine and machine becoming smarter. What does that mean? Tons of folks are talking about it, right? Most of the people don't know much about it. Many of the understandings of this topic comes from science fiction stories, movies, or the news that you might be seeing, which often depicts the world heading towards a dystopian, a robot-controlled future. I'll demystify some common misconceptions around this that you thought you understood, but perhaps you don't. Each time we create a more powerful technology, we create a bigger lever for changing the world. It's an unprecedented time, one of unprecedented change and possibility. For you to participate in this revolution, you would need to understand a few terminologies like what is machine learning, AI and big data. You would also need to understand where you stand on your data maturity model and then how do you progress up this curve. Let's do this. Learning about the world from data. This is the heart and essence of machine learning. In machine learning, we observe the world using precise data. We learn from this precise data by creating mathematical models. When I say learn, think of past as a combination of information and noise. Learning means extracting, isolating the information from this noise, distilling it away and then extracting this information and putting it in a meaningful model, a model which can then be used to predict future. And with this ability, we aid decision making. This is the essence of all the machine learning. Why do you need this? Look at this graph carefully and try to identify where you stand. Can you very confidently tell what is happening? What is the landscape your businesses are chartering? Do you know why something happened precisely? Can you predict on what might happen or you have reached a stage where you know how to make certain things happen. Now these are the various stages of your uh, maturity of data to AI perhaps if I may. Each of these stages has certain uh, ways of working. You might understand where you stand more clearly if I talk you through how to identify what stage you are in. This is what I call data to AI maturity model. Stage one, manual data drudgery. Because you need a gauze of your operations, you would need a measure of it. Uh, they might be your own metrics, often called KPIs. And so you would ask these metrics from your managers. Your managers do the same. They have their measures and so on all the way up the organization. Every level looks at their performance and then creates documents to pass up. Since every individual is creating a unique document, this manual approach lacks consistency. It results in vast amounts of time wasted in digging into how specific numbers were reached and verifying accuracy rather than understanding what data is telling us. Often these metrics are produced at a lag running up to a month. Small changes are nightmare to accommodate. The actual story is lost in aggregations. You know you are at this stage if you see these manual reports, spreadsheet and PowerPoint communicate status, disagreements on how data was processed. Now a little beyond this stage you are at stage 2 where data sharing challenge is often addressed by flooding every individual in the chain with even more data. BI is one of the most misused tool in the enterprise. If we can just load this data into BI, the team can then manipulate and drive as deep as they want. Everyone will have the same info. This is the theme at this stage. This encourages creation of shadow IT and data teams. Often these are local team members having some aptitude of creating dashboards and data to answer many specific questions 
their team has and then there is the magical dashboards originally conceived to provide simplified view of what's going on this dashboard now becomes a dumping ground for everything possible often resembling the cockpit of a space shuttle with hundreds of pages of powerpoint outputs generated to cover every conceivable question once again large amounts of time are wasted creating and navigating these dashboards in an attempt to reach answers both manual and these magical dashboards mark one of the core problems at this stage of maturity which is multiple inconsistent sources of truth the same answer resides in different systems and each part of organization looks in different places for these answers copies of data are spread around and it is crunched and report writers grab whatever is easiest to access this takes us right back to our argument about where data and report came from as the business logic applied to generate this data isn't ready available curious side effect of it is uh, to create these dashboards multiple data extractions happen often extracting same data from same systems you might know you are at this stage if you see these symptoms you have shadow data teams only privileged employees can create reports big spend on reporting dashboarding or bi systems employees are flooded with irrelevant data multiple inconsistent sources of truth the next stage is where data tells a story as organization evolves digitally the data starts to tell stories this typically starts when efforts focus around understanding what information employees at various levels need to do their jobs efficiently this focus simplifies the data discussion and brings it and business into a partnership to serve these employees this focus at role level uncovers that answering the most valuable questions requires viewing and combining data from multiple systems aggregated data must be stripped down to what is specifically required to answer the questions at hand this simplified and role focused approach allows data to be tuned into glanceable answers giving employees at every level everything they need everything they need on a single screen they don't waste hours clicking through myriad of reports dashboards to surface the needed data and then often having to mash together reports right data at right time consistent data up and down the chain everyone has same info regardless of the roles you can uh, know or figure out you are at this stage if you see these glanceable answers start to simplify employee processes multiple sources of data merging consistent view of info up and down the organization it and business leadership work together measurable results emerging from here you move up to a uh, level 4 which is emergent intelligence as intelligence from data begins to emerge organization starts to see real business results the speed to produce value starts to increase as employees learn to use tools improve their understanding of data and grow more comfortable you become more sophisticated at setting alerts and exceptions your teams may begin to share and capture even more data because they are now more confident on reliability and value of data at this stage traditional data access limited to few key users should be gone and employees free to pursue investigations within the data can derive much novel solutions lastly improved business outcomes should be more tangible and measurable as data maturity progresses although this is just the start of ml and ai applications your employees should already be deriving significant value from the data you would know you are at this stage if you see consistent measurable results proactive information that supports employees experience tuned for each customer and employee smart systems now know what to look for 
and your data is across the silos transcending this stage you reach a transformed organization stage no matter what you read online there are only handful of organizations at this stage at this stage machine learning is mature your data is clean and your teams have broad data skills your employees are less bounded by restrictive rules and approval hierarchies and more empowered to use data to do things the right way governance is more cross functional than department led machine learning will automate at this stage any low value or repetitive tasks rendering expensive solutions like rpa power bi obsolete employees are able to focus on high value activities especially exception handling indeed uh, your new data driven view of market is would now be giving game changing results how these algorithms that would be used at this stage can support your teams and empower them to take on new challenges will be critical to success rather than just automating people out of today's processes now what next in order to you have to be able to identify where you stand in this model and it is critical to create a plan for moving ahead moving ahead with data you use forward once you know where you stand you can take an action now in the next series of videos i would cover how generally organization would move through each of these stages